Get on that. Like straight on. Yeah, I'll just. Alright, can, can we just. There's a truck coming, Sam. Can you just move that way a little bit, Nigel? And we'll then, can you just come forward a little bit, Dan? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for this truck to pass. So, Hey, you're watching Farm TV. I'm here with Nigel and Dan from the Black Seeds. How you doing, guys? So, last time we spoke to you guys was in 08. What, what's been happening since then for you guys? Whoa, 08. Uh, <laughs> that's a long time ago. Um, well, I think uh, in 08 we released our latest album, Solid Ground. Uh, and then we've been touring that for a long time. We've been to Europe a few times. Uh, toured the States last year. Um, uh, we've released a new live album, shot some music videos, played heaps of gigs, and uh, that pretty much brings us to here. With the live album, how, how far back does that stretch for you guys? Like six, seven years? Yeah, we had, had quite, a, quite a lot of, um, done quite a lot of gigs, and uh, Chris G's um, recorded quite a lot of them. He's our sound engineer. And um, yeah, we had a lot to choose from. Um, there's, there's, there's so many different versions of the same song. Um, so yeah, we've been wanting to do it for a long time and it's, it's great to have it out. I think I read that you guys formed in 1998. How'd that happen? Well, the Black Seeds already existed as a cover band before I joined. I was uh, the, the fourth member to join. It was Barney and our old uh, drummer, Rich Christie and Shannon Williams on bass. And yeah, they, um, they were just mates who worked up at a radio station, Radioactive in Wellington and um, I was living in Gisborne and I met uh, Richie over there and he said oh, when you come and uh, I was going to move to Wellington so I said oh, when are you going to come there come and uh, check out the band have a jam with us and then it kind of started from there and slowly we got a keyboardist, a uh, trumpet player and it was like oh we need two in the horn section and um, it just started to, just started to grow. Yeah. Does the band, does the band, or even you guys, have a favourite place to play? Like, I guess a home for the band, or there's just so many factors. Like, I really like jamming in the jam room or playing in the in the our rehearsal space because, like, it's just nice to hear everybody. Everyone's very clear. I personally like smaller stages, um, but then it's awesome to play to a massive crowd with a massive PA. I read somewhere, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but uh, that Barnaby enjoys aqua jogging. Is, <laughs> what is, what, what, what is aqua jogging? He's really into aqua jogging. Um, no, I, I don't think he's done aqua jogging ever. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen him aqua jog. <laughs> I've never right. seen him jog. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so what's, what's the future hold for you guys? Uh, I know you're gonna, you're gonna wrap up this Australia tour, but, but what then, what's next? The thing we really want to focus on is just getting new material and um, get everybody to contribute to, to the new album a lot more and um, yeah, just you know, add more colours to, to, to the band's um, repertoire, you know, more, more different, different styles coming through but not trying too hard, you know, um, just do what we feel comfortable with and uh, because definitely the public sees through a band who try to be something that they're not and, um, and we haven't done that right from the start to where we are now and, uh, and we, we stay true to that. Think they call us in the middle Time to make out How was that for you guys? That was really good. Yeah. Better than the bus. How you feeling? Uh, I think, yeah, I think there's a definite improvement on uh, current modes of transport and uh, be keen to tour like that actually, it would make life really <laughs> easy. Cheaper. They are the Black Seeds and you're watching Farm TV.